Good evening. There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between sanity and stupidity, between logical and loony, and it lies between the pit of a man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of unbelievability. It is an area which we call the Frauditor Zone. In this episode, it seems that Craig from Sea Agent Tyotis couldn't resist going back to his old frauditing ways once released from jail. So he fought at the health department to scope out their needles and inquire about getting an STD test and then just can't shut his mouth. This shot of Ty went by so fast that I thought it was a clown. I had to go back and try to figure out why there was a clown at the health department, and then I realized that it was just a frauditor, which is a different type of clown than I had originally thought it was. Can I help you? No, thank you. It's a beautiful office. You guys care to put on a mask for us? I actually don't care much for them myself. Thank you, though. Not only is this Florida protecting our First Amendment rights, but he's giving us a free tour of the health department. Florida's love to do useless things that no one else cares or wants them to do. Oh, I'm sorry. You're fine. Back there. I was about to say to you, we should get a door in front of that thing because uh, it looks like there are needles back there. And you know how people, you know how they love to get them needles. Do you know what I mean? Yes, Craig, we all know what you mean. At least you're not wasting your breath and asking for a friend because we all know that you mean you. I guess you'll be back auditing this place again. Don't forget to bring your camera next time to make sure it looks like you're not really in it for the needles. Wink, wink. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They just said something about. Can I help you? And were you back in my official exam room just now? Was I? Walk back. By yourself unescorted. Yeah. Okay, this is basically the equivalent of a doctor's office. It's the this public. Is All right, you're a county worker, right? I am a county worker. My name is Angela. This Clark. is a county office. Yes, but this is the health department, and you don't go back in a physician's exam room unescorted. Okay? You In a public office, you don't leave a build or a section of the office with no door that should be restricted. You could not call the cops. Huh? You could not call the cops. Well, I suppose I can. Is that against the law to have security come enforce my rules? It would be a misuse of a police hotline if you called some th somebody like yeah, the police. Security, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. All right, great. Yeah, well, I guess we'll just wait on them then. yeah, we'll just wait on them. Absolutely. Yeah, no Absolutely. problem with that. Then your purpose in life right now is what? Why freedom. Freedom. What am I doing to um, limit your freedom? You're taking my tax dollars. I wish I could keep those, but I don't get a choice. I got to pay you. I don't personally take your tax dollars. Well, you you do. You've got an option to go get a job in the private sector. I'm well, Craig, you can get a job in the private sector too. I hear McDonald's and Burger King are very forgiving of people with criminal records such as yours. Then you can come back and whine about the taxes that you pay. I'm sure you're a certified nurse, right? I am. I'm so a you registered could, nurse with a master's degree in public health nursing. Well, you could get paid a lot of money if you go to the private sector, yes, couldn't you? but I care about my public, and I believe in public health, which is why I do my job, and I like working here in public health. If you got a job you in the are private sector. You're 
I'm not harassing anybody. You just got owned, you noob. You just got owned. Do you, do you want to give me an STD test? Like, what would the charges be if I got an STD test? It would be free. Really? Wow. Your COVID shot will be free. I know that because I know there's a government program on the federal level to distribute yeah. those. But, hey, an STD test for free. Whoa, TMI. We now know that you're actually at the health department to scope out free needles and to get information about an STD test, all in the guise of a First Amendment audit. We now know way too much about you. Please stick to post offices where we don't have to get to know you better. I mean, and I will say that you do understand that I've already paid for it in tax dollars. I do understand right. that I pay taxes too. Yeah. So even though I pay my tax dollars, you give you give some of them you give some of the tax dollars back i get you yeah but no we aren't we aren't here to harass you i mean what we do is we just go around public buildings and record the public areas yeah and and the thing that i was trying to tell you is unless there is a sign and we did see there's no sign that says authorized personnel only right so if there's a sign right Yeah. Well, hey, I appreciate you being willing to yeah. correct it because that's the only thing is a lot of public employees get get the wrong idea that it's like a, a private building. Like you can tell any because if it was a private building, you could be like, hey, one, don't go where I don't want you to go. Right. Because right, right. it's my building, but it's right. it's all of ours building. So until it is until it is restricted by a sign or a locked door, we all have the same access. Okay. Oh, give it a rest. We all know that if there was a sign you were just whining about it not being constitutional. So here is an unconstitutional sign that is tailor-made for frauditors so there can at least be no doubt as to who it's referring to. Expect to see more and more of these in the future. Which is, is what I'm trying to say. So, and that's, yeah. Yeah, and if you, I mean, this footage will be uh, on the internet if you're interested in watching it. You'll see that we literally peeked in the door and okay. recorded it and then left. And that's perfectly fine. I right. Just, I would prefer that you not touch or, or rummage through things. So yeah. No, we did not do any of that. I mean, okay. we, we saw a lot of stuff. I believe that was your office back there to the left, right? Yes. Right. We, I mean, we saw a phone out there. We didn't touch it. You know, we're not there to touch things or, okay. or mess with things. We're literally just here to document the public areas. Yes, I get that. And that's that's the thing with a public building is it's in public. It is not my responsibility to not look at things. It is your responsibility to create your own privacy, which would be done through a locked door or through a sign, which I honestly. This frauditor just loves to hear himself talk, but he never says anything that is worthy of listening to. So I'm going to have to just stop his babbling and skip ahead. Right. That if there is an area that is not a locked door or it doesn't have a sign that says no public or staff only or something like that. Is, is that correct that I need to correct that and, and place something up here because I don't have a locked door? Well, this is this is your office. And, and if, if you want to allow them to take a tour back through there. Well, they did it without my knowledge. Oh, Nobody they, was they at the desk. They, they came in and they oh, went so back. Oh, so you already guys went back there? Yeah, we already went back there. Okay. But the thing is, man, is I'd like to, this is not her office. This is our office. You pay taxes, she pays taxes, I right. pay taxes. You, you can agree that somebody's got to run it, obviously. Well, yeah, they, they are the steward it. of the right. office, but this yeah. is not their office. The rules for the public in a public office right. are set by the state legislature. Right. So have you guys seen that back in there? Did you see what you guys wanted to see back in there? Yeah, we were, yeah. We were done. They just told us, okay. they called you guys, and okay. we were yeah. waiting on you to come right. and right. figure it out. And if we leave you guys are ready to deal, right? Uh... I don't make deals like that, man, but I am done in this you office. You got everything you needed, so yeah. there's no, no point to even be here in here anymore.
We just don't want to interfere with yeah. their daily right. duties yeah. on helping these patients. No, no, That's I hear you. Right. Yeah, and the other <laughs> thing... There are some sick people in here yep. And the thing is, man, is I just... My whole purpose of this stuff is to go around and educate. So if we leave without without taking something from each other, I think that there is a little bit of a... I have I failed to do my job. Yeah, good deal. So I'd like to, though let it be known that while we're in a public building and we all have a contractual interest in it yeah. through our taxes, yeah. we cannot say that, hey, you know, I know it's your building and it's my building, but I don't want you to go back there so you can't go back there. The only way that that should be done is by a sign being posted, and that says authorized employees or authorized personnel yeah. only. That way it's clear to those that aren't those people that they can't go in there. Because it's all of our building. We all have the same access until that. We all need medical help. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah, no doubt, guys. So, awesome. All right. Hey, you have a good day. All right. And just, just for your general knowledge, education coming this way, the yeah. reason we have our masks on um, is because in our guidelines to provide uh, immunizations right now under the State Department of Health, okay. that is a requirement. Yeah. Therefore, we do have the sign out there and we do have yes. you know, people come in. So yeah, That was actually our first video that we ever made was a, health, was a mask uh, disagreement. And we, we looked into it in the Supreme Court. And you're right, that is your guys' policy to do that. So I, I respect that you guys are following your own rules and right, doing that. Right. The Supreme Court ruled that policies and rules for particular buildings mm -hmm. apply only to employees or contractors while within that building. Mm -hmm. But while you're just a part of the public, the only rules you have to follow are the laws passed by the legislature in there in Indianapolis. So he's trying to say that the Supreme Court said that anyone in a public building that doesn't work there doesn't have to follow any rules or policies of the building. Is this the same Supreme Court that sovereign citizens claim has ruled that we don't need a driver's license when driving? Sounds like Craigie's about to find his way to jail again eventually, but until then, while he wallows in his special sense of reality, it's time to skip ahead again. We'll go to when the employee gets the only information that has any use from a foreigner, which is how to keep them out. Usually, I mean, I'll be honest, this is the first public health department that we've came in. It was actually this, like, open, so we haven't done a lot of what we call audits in there, the First Amendment audits. And the whole goal of them is to show that the justice system has, we've got the most laws in the world. So if they weren't open, what do you mean? I mean, like, there's a lobby, and then all of the other areas are literally, like, there would be a, a semi-wall with a door in it here. And it would like, you know, you just, you can't access it because it's locked. And the only time that you can get through is when they say, okay, ding, you know, come through. So that's what we usually run into. But uh, I mean, the whole deal is, is like, it doesn't hurt for you guys to know that it is all right to do it. But the people. Oh boy, looks like Craigie is going another step out of reality towards his alternative facts. So we'll have to skip ahead again. But just, you know, from a public's perspective, it isn't normal that someone would walk through my door. No. You're intimidating. That's just all there is to it. When you come walk well. through the door like that, it's 2022, and we see um, people come in and she places that. I mean, it's just a concern. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't happen. Is like that's a lot of that's a lot of stuff. I mean, I mean, people act like it happens all the time. But there is one thing I've never seen a shooter come in with a camera. But that's not to say it couldn't happen. I mean, yeah. be on your guard. But the only thing is, is while you're in your public capacity. Um, I do, I always say it to, as I said, I've never actually interacted with a public health official, mm -hmm. but we like to, to run into polite public workers, which is what you were, mm -hmm. you were very polite. So I just say, give, give them the benefit of the doubt. I mean, and if you're that, if you are worried about shooters, I'd say, I'd say, I, I mean, if it's a genuine concern, I would request to the county to put in some bulletproof glass here because that is, I mean, it's a viable concern. There may be somebody with a gun coming in here, so maybe bulletproof glass would be the way to go. She was attempting to make him understand why they're concerned about someone wandering all over the place filming with no purpose, but his thought train has derailed again, so it looks like we're just going to have to end the whole video. I'm sure wherever Craig is right now, he's jacking away just to hear the sound of his own voice. So for the Fortiter for Tea cool down segment, I present to you animals that also love to talk, but we don't mind their voices nearly as much.
Thank you. 